Hi everybody! Hi Rona! Hi Asi! Welcome again from Vivi. We want to use your data and data analyzing app to learn more about Game of Thrones and to predict what's going to happen in season eight. We posted a video yesterday or earlier about what the data says about the decline of magic, the possible decline of magic and disappearance of magic, and conversely the rise of knowledge. And today we want to use your app to know that Sansa will be queen. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see if, you, if, if there is any data that supports the ironclad theory that is a true truism that Sansa will be queen. Okay. I'm sorry Does it to support disappoint it? you. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> cut, cut. So like three female contenders, right. Sansa, Daenerys and uh, Cersei. And since I wanted to find a reason to, uh, like data to back up my pre-existing uh, prediction, yeah. so I'm thinking like after the war against the White Walkers and all that. Presume, presuming they will win. Presuming they, they will, will win. win. <laughs> yeah. I think that uh, the humans will want to be ruled by humans. They will not want any more monsters. We've had enough of monsters. And they will want somebody they can know and trust, and maybe someone that doesn't scare them as much. You almost talk like it's a democracy and they have to vote for it. I think they will vote. I think they will vote. I think the lords will vote. I think it will be a lord's mm -hmm. vote. Okay. Like John was voted for the, for the, for the Night's Watch. It's basically the lords, they have, if they don't support this or that queen, then that's a problem when you rebuild the realm. So I think if they have these three options, a foreigner with monsters and an army of rapists and crazy people. A crazy woman who, like Burned Cersei, who, who can blew up a sept and has uh, another monster behind her and uh, Golden Company foreigners. Or Sansa. Very wise, my lady. A Stark, a Tully. She also has the Arryn, the, the, the Veil of Arryn with her. She's not that scary, so I think people will flock to her. Come on, suits you. And I think moving around in the realm was like a metaphor to show that she is more Westerosi and she knows the realm. The, he made a big deal of it uh, in uh, Fire and Blood about uh, uh, monarchs moving around the realm, seeing their constituents, basically. Mm. So I thought maybe that could prove what I decided earlier without data. You wanted to prove that Sansa will sit on the Iron Throne by saying Sansa has moved a lot through Westeros right. and Daenerys, well, she moved a lot in Essos, but not in Westeros. And even when she did, she was flying. And Cersei <laughs> basically didn't move from. So what we did is we looked at uh, the three queens, right? The Conqueror, the Queen in the North, and the... Crazy Queen. And the Crazy Queen. The first of her name, Cersei. Right. Maybe Madison. all three are crazy. You, you gotta be crazy to want to rule. This is so true. Yeah. This is so true. Yeah. So in general, like uh, uh, looking at the number of scenes throughout the seasons, Daenerys had the mm, highest amount of scenes. When Cersei had uh, 167 and Sansa a little bit less, 160. Okay. So in terms of like if you're counting how much screen time they took, um, Daenerys wins, okay. but then Cersei. So Sansa okay. is less. However, Cersei basically, other than five scenes in Winterfell, in episode one or two, you know, where she visits uh, with uh, Robert, and then like one scene on the King's Road where they kill uh, the direwolf, and then another scene that is like um, a flashback, flashback when she was a kid in Castle Rock. That's it, 160 scenes in King's Landing. Out, out of 167. Exactly. Whoa. That's insane. Daenerys. Now, Sansa, uh, Daenerys. Let's we'll, we'll go for Daenerys. Okay, let's go with Daenerys. Daenerys has been all over the place. Uh, if we look at uh, Essos, look how much. And she walked a lot of this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these distances. It's crazy. Oh uh, wow! And Forty-six scenes in Meereen. And she decides very proactively to stay and rule. In Westeros, because in, we're talking about Westeros. Yeah, in Westeros, we haven't seen her a lot. We, we know she's going to be in Winterfell, but other than that, she was in Dragonstone for yeah. most part. Yeah, you know? Dragonstone is like not really Westeros, yeah, I guess. Like yeah, it's like an island close by. Yeah. Um, 20 scenes there, seven season in the Dragon Pit <laughs> in King's Landing, seven, that's it. Okay, in one episode. So, yeah, in okay. one episode. Um, right. Then, you know, a few scenes on the re in the Reach, where she was most of the time flying a dragon and, people and, and shouting for Daenerys. So she didn't walk anywhere, she, she just was, like... She did, <laughs> like, when Drogon was hurt in the, on the Reach, on the Gold Road uh, battle. Ah, right. She yeah, was, she was actually touching that's the, the ground. <laughs> that's the only time she touched <laughs> the, moment, so, yeah. the soil. So she doesn't really know anything about this realm. 
o overall 35 scenes in Westeros, right. if you, okay. if you uh, take into account the, the narrow sea as well. Okay, and Sansa? Sansa has spent most of her time in the north, in Winterfell, obviously, um, but almost the same amount of scenes in King's Landing. Now, since then, she's been, you know, some time in the Eyrie, a little bit in the Narrow Sea, she's been on the, um, the, wall. On the King's Road, she's been to the Wall, she's been a little bit more around uh -huh. in Cersei. She went to Valerie's but... John to all the, in the north, like to... Right, That's right, 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 right. So I don't know, you, you see, that data can, you know, help us look at something, um, like, more accurately, <laughs> but you still have to Boom, subjectively No, no, this is science! <laughs> this is science, this is science. Okay, okay so, so basically, your app, the VV app, is meant to enhance our viewing experience in real time, if we want to know what's going on, and also, after the fact, to make those connections in a more interesting and engaging way, right? Knowing just what happened here, what happened there, and then you can also extrapolate from that data all kinds of predictions, like Sansa will be queen. You can watch uh, shows like uh, Game of Thrones or Westworld or whatever, and you know, enjoy it in some level, but feel like you, know, you don't understand the, the last 10% like 10 of it. But the more you know about what you're watching, the more right. you engage with it, and the more right. you understand, the more things that you see as, as keys to something. Right. This is actually the premise for uh, the, the YouTube Game of Thrones right. community. Enemy, right, right. Yeah. You know, people watch and they're ah, so this is this, exactly. and this is that, and history, yeah. and philosophy, and science, and whatever, and then you can enjoy it more. Right. Okay, okay. So we're just taking it from the point of data, you know, how, not data, but like information per scene. Okay, okay, so the link is in the description. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so thank you, Ona. Thank you, Asi. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, patrons, for supporting the channel. Boom, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, Bye. everybody.